everybody on YouTube, it's Rude Boy, and I know I haven't done a video for you guys in a very long time. But today I have a big update. Um, I sold my gamer ring. I basically went all of Mac, MacBook Pro, late 2013, iMac 27, 2013. There's a lot of reasons behind this, but I'm not going to get into that today. So I might make a separate video. I will also do a video review of the iMac later on. But today I'm going to show you the disk speeds I get with flash storage for the iMac. It's also the same speeds I get for the MacBook Pro, so I don't need to do two different videos. First, let me tell you my specs. I got the 27-inch iMac, late 2013, processor 3.5 GHz, Intel Core i7, has all processor. Turbo boost up to 3.9 GHz. Stock, it came with 8 gigs of RAM, but it's much cheaper to buy the RAM outside of Apple. You could get it from Crucial or Amazon, and it comes up to like 300 bucks. So I went full. Fully maxed, and I got 32 gigs of RAM, 1600 megahertz DDR3. For my hard drive, I got 512 gigs of flash storage. Maximum could go up to one terabyte, but even with all my music, all my videos, all my pictures, I don't even have 100 gigs of data. So, getting the flash storage one terabyte would be a waste of money, and I would never fill it up ever. So, now we're going to show you the speeds of the flash storage. We're going to run this Blackmagic disk speed test. Now again, I get the same speeds on my MacBook Pro 2013 and on my iMac. So there's no difference in terms of flash storage speeds on both of the systems. As you can see for the right speeds, I get 700 megabytes and a little bit over 705 megabytes. For read, I get 723 megabytes. So that's really fast. Now, the 2012 version of the MacBook Pro, I believe it was 2012 or 2011, I used to get 300 megabytes read and write. So this is a very, very good update. I get double the speed, if not more, and the system is blazing fast. Boot up times are amazing. I think it's anywhere from 12 to 15 seconds. Shutdown times are within like 5 to 10 seconds. Again, thanks for watching. Any questions? For concerns, just leave it in the comment box. I'll get back to you. If you want any videos done, just ask me and I will record. And again, I will be doing a review of the iMac.